Ready and action. Okay, great. All right, now let's bring that half soft frost in there. So if we wanted to diffuse her, I don't know if the shadow gag is really doing much for me because it happens so fast. I'd rather have a little more softer kind of quality of light on Eli than deal with the shadow at this point because it's the shock factor anyway. Okay, so now let's look at what that feels like. Okay, Eli, slide a little bit more. Uh, no, 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 go back where you were. Okay, now just a look to your right and put the paper up. Look more to your, there you go. There's where the camera needs to be. Okay, great. All right, ready and action. Hey, honey, did you hear what <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of nice, Chris, because I see the knife coming up in the foreground. Uh, I'd rather take that than, uh, and then where are we? We're at 2.8, right? Yeah. Okay, go to a 2.8 and, two and a half. Okay, now let me see you. Uh, so let's show the on off on her face. Uh, somebody on the half saw frost? Yes. So what do you want to do? I want to sh uh, show the A camera. That's without the soft, or with the soft frost. Now pull it out and then add it in. Okay, all right, and add it out and pull it out. See, and now put it in. Look at her here. It just softens up that, the kind of imperfections in her skin there. It becomes very pearlescent uh, in quality and actually glows the eyes very nice. So the Roscoe Half Soft Frost is really great in keeping hard light direction, but just giving that bloomy kind of uh, pearlescent quality to the light. And we stop down just a little bit more to make the background just go extremely dark. Uh, so it's just all about her and not about wherever the heck we are back there. We really don't care. We don't care what's in this place. We just want to see that horror on her face. Okay, let's go for shooting it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let the paper have the hard light, but her have the soft light so I can get a little more exposure on her. And now take the paper and bring it over here so you can catch that light. Okay, so now I've just made it so I got a little more illumination there on her face. Okay. Yeah, and slide your hair so it's more around your back. No, the other side. Yeah, that way we see your, your profile a little more. And then get it in the sliver. Now you gotta slide to your left. Oh, right there. All right, now bring the paper to the left a little more. Okay, good, but look to your right. Yeah, perfect. That's the orientation. Take an eye, eye line for that. Let's, I wanna come back with this thing. I got too much fill now. All right. Okay, great. All right, here we go. Ready and action. Okay, awesome. Now, what if we did this a little bit? What if we feel we're coming over his shoulder? So let's pull this out. Ready? Okay, and now we do that little thing where you wanna do, you know, this, and but you feel like we're coming from camera. So kind of orient, yeah, exactly. Cheat that a little bit. Now I look like you're on your point of view. So it's even spookier, right? 
okay? So it just feels a little spookier. And then let us take one step in together. So you'll back up, Santiago, okay? And then you'll come in. So you'll come in like that to do that. And then when you do this, you counter over a little bit, Santiago. Yeah. No, we come in with you. So get in position so we see the sliver. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I want to see if we can walk in on that. Okay. Just a little bit. We're just talking a little breath. Okay. Here we go. Hold the paper up. A little closer to your face. There you go. Ready and action. <laughs> Perfect. So that's a whole other type of feel. So this way, if we wanted to, we could come out of the flare just as the flare was happening and we could go to that moment with the hands coming in and then to the reaction. And you can decide which way you want to cut it, out on the flare or with the horror in your face. And that concludes Day Interior Horror Lighting. That's a wrap. All right. <laughs>